All right. Hello, all my eighth graders. Oh, sorry for the little delay there. I had to deal with some stuff. But um, just make sure to come into Zoom tomorrow. Tomorrow our Zoom meeting is at 11.30. So then um, we'll be over with by noon and then we'll be done. But yes, our Zoom tomorrow, there will be a posting in Google Classroom um, for our Zoom meeting tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. All right, so try make sure you're there. Um, so really quick, this was the homework. Um, you were supposed to go through and see, you know, do the following, form the right angles. So just really quick, I'll go through these. Um, I like to say um, apparently. So looking at this, you know five is going to be the hypotenuse. So the setup, the check is three squared plus four squared equals five squared. So that's 9 plus 16 equals 25, 25 equals 25, so that's good, that, that checks out, yes. Uh, for number 3, kind of missed it, this is going to be 8 squared plus 6 squared equals 10 squared. So this is 64 plus 36 equals 100, um, 36 and 64 is 100 equals 100, so that one checks out as well. For number six, the setup is going to be 2.1 squared plus 7.2 squared equals 7.5 squared. And for this one, I am going to use a calculator. And when I put in my calculator, I go, I, I'm going to go like this, 2.1 squared plus 7.2 squared. And that's 56. 56.25 equals 7.5 squared. Hey, 56.25. All of these are working. So those are yes. Okay. Uh, and then if I didn't give you a solution for this one, um, 6.4 squared plus 12 squared is 184.6. And then 12.2 squared is 148. So this is no. No. Okay. All right. Um, so down here we're supposed to find the missing lengths. Find the missing links. So the setup for number seven should have been eight squared plus four squared equals x squared. And when I put that in my calculator, I get 80, and the square root of 80 is 8.9. So x is the square root of 80. And then if we wanted to, just to show it to you, uh, oh, no, nah, don't worry about that. Just x square root of 80. Um, and then I did eight for you. For number 9, this is going to be 10 squared plus 7 squared equals x squared, like that. And when I go through that, I get, what is that, 149 equals x squared. And then square root both sides. So it looks like that. For number 10, you're looking at 3 squared plus 7 squared equals x squared. Like that. And 3 squared is 9 plus 7 squared is 49. That's going to give me a 58 equals x squared. So x is the square root of 58. Like that. And the last two down here. I'm going to have 7 squared. Uh, let's see, plus 2 squared equals x squared. 7 squared is 49, 2 squared is uh, 4. Uh, 49 and 4 is a uh, 53 equals x squared. So x is the square root of 53. And the last one, 12. Uh, let's see, your setup should have been 6 squared plus 2 squared equals x squared. So 36 and 4 is 40, so x equals the square root of 40. The square root of 40 for that last one. All right, so check your answers. If you have any questions, come into Zoom. We can go over them. Um, today's lesson is lesson 6. So for lesson 6, it's not re we're not really introducing anything new. We're just going to be looking at the Pythagorean theorem a little bit, um, how it's used. Um, so we see a lot of right triangles a lot of times whenever humans are involved 
It does occur in nature, but just not as much. Uh, what type of triangle is formed by the horizontal distance, the vertical height, and the length of the tow rope? So in parasailing, a tow rope is used to attach a parasail. Okay, so that's what we're looking at down here. Cool, a little parasail. Whee! All right, what type of triangle is formed by the horizontal distance, the vertical height, and the length of the tow rope? So just what kind of ang what kind of triangle is this? What kind of triangle is it? Isosceles, um, you know, it is a right triangle. It is a right triangle. And that's because when you're being towed, you know, this is a 90 degree because it's you know where you are above the water changes as you do and you're always at 90 degrees no matter where you're at here's a little dude we woohoo all right so suppose the wind picks up and the parasail rises to 50 feet okay so we go up 50 feet and remain 72 feet behind the boat so we're 72 feet behind the boat all right write an equation that will help you find how much tow rope see the parasail will need all right, so how much tow rope? So we're looking for our X right there. That's what we're looking for. All right, so when we set it up, it's going to be 72 squared plus 50 squared equals X squared, like that. All right, so if we solve this, and it says round to the nearest foot, so that means that we are going to have to take the square root of it. So it's going to be 72 squared plus 50 squared, and that's 7,684. But then we have to square root it, 7,684. And I get 87.7. So I get 87, oh, round to the nearest foot, uh, 88. 88 feet. All right, and they might even go to 90 just in case, you know. So that's how you do it. So that's like a real world. So suppose the turtle is 300 feet long. The parasail is 200 feet above the water surface. Write an equation to find the horizontal distance B behind the boat. So we're looking for the horizontal distance. So now for this one, right, so suppose the tow rope's 300 feet. So it'll be 300 feet. And we know that this is 200, so now we're looking for X. All right. So our equation for this, our equation for this would have been X squared equal, oh, plus x squared plus 200x or 200 squared equals 300 squared like that so that's how it would look and that's and then to solve this this is just a one step equation all right so turn the page the pythagorean theorem can be used to solve a variety of problems it is helpful to use a diagram to determine which part of the right triangle is unknown. So yeah, you know, remember Pythagorean theorems only apply to right triangles. And right triangles do appear a lot in, um, in the world. Okay. So notice the distance from the building. So the distance, so whenever we're looking at ladders, you know, so firemen, this is one thing that firemen may have to take into consideration when they're going in to fight a fire is how far away is that um, ladder. You know, they just don't throw it out, they don't throw out the ladder all willy-nilly because they don't want to endanger their, their, um, their co-workers. So if, we're, if we know the distance, we can figure out how big the ladder has to go, okay? And then we just set up the equation, so this is a little hard to see. But just remember, it's the leg squared plus this leg squared equals this squared. So this is 8.75 squared plus 18 squared equals x squared like that so that's the setup for it and then when you put it in your calculator I go 8.7 squared plus 18 squared we get 400.6 equals x squared and we're not finished we're not finished we have to take the square root and x is about 20 feet so in order to get 20 feet up a building they'd have to make sure that they're about eight and three quarters feet from it, okay? Or no, I'm sorry, to get 18 feet up the building. 18 feet, even though it's a 20 foot ladder, all right? So that's the ratio. So it's, it's interesting, it's interesting. 
Um, and then down here they go through another example. Um, so this time they're doing uh, airplanes and just finding the distance um, between the uh, between the airplanes and what their altitudes have to be and um, longitudes, things like that. And then if you set this one up, now this one is a little bit different because we have a B. So this is going to be 10 squared plus B squared equals 12 squared. All right, so now we just have the B squared on the right-hand side, all right? So in order for us to get B's, the B by itself, first we're going to have to subtract that 10 squared. Like that. So I get B squared equals, and I can put it in my calculator just like that. I'm going to go 12 squared minus... 10 squared, and I get a 44. And then just make sure to get rid of that square. You square root both sides. And the square root of 44 is plus or minus 6.6. Okay? Alright. So complete this on your own. Complete that on your own. Uh, they go through another example of a, a pole. Um, I'm not worried about that. Uh, complete this on your own and then complete all four of these all right so your homework is I'll put it over here so your homework is uh, let's see example a and B and one through four right and then we'll go through those so this one's a little bit shorter of an assignment. Uh, but make sure to get those done. Uh, make sure to hand this in, to hand this in um, on Monday. And I think we're, we're going to have one more lesson that I'm going to be put, putting up on Friday. So we're not going to be having any kind of assessment or anything like that since I had to take a couple of those days off and go uh, spend with my folks. All right. Thank you for your time. Make sure to get that done. Goodbye.